And well, this is my walkthrough on the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in the last video, we learned the Nocturne of Shadow and realized we had to go back into the past in order to get something from the well. So now we are back in the past. Before we do any of that stuff, there are actually some heart pieces I want to get. Um, we could do this really at almost any time. But um, I figure you might as well do that because we're back here. Because we need we need a bunch of the songs. Some frogs looking at you from in the water. I think you can do this as soon as you learn the song of storms. But anyways, if you put up your ocarina, these frogs pop up. You can see every time we hit a note, uh, all these frogs pop up. It's kind of fun to actually make them move around. So each one corresponds to a different button. But what you want to do is play the song of storms. If you want to get um, a heart piece from them. You can see it makes them happy because I guess it's raining, probably. Wow, oh, that melody is so cool! Singing in the rain. Oh, dear. Anyways, please take this as a token of our froggish gratitude. And we get a piece of heart, yeah! And actually, we can get another piece of heart from these guys. Uh, now, what you want to do for this next one is you want to play all of your non teleporting songs. So, that would be Zelda's Lullaby, uh, Song of Storms, Opponent Song, Saria Song, Sun Song, and The Song of Time, I believe. I think that's all of them. There we go, we played uh, Zelda's Lullaby, and it makes that one grow bigger. But we'll keep going in the water, but just keep pulling your ocarina and playing those six songs. We already played the Song of Storms, so we got that covered. Now it's, gonna make it, it's making it rain here. Every time, by the way, you play one of these songs, you get rewarded 50 rupees. So if you really want to get some fast rupees, you can just do that. There go. And this is a bonus song. I think it makes a top one more bigger. Yep, I was right! Wow, I can't believe I actually remember that. Yay. Alright, um, let's play the sun song next. There we go. I believe that makes the frog on the uh, bottom go bigger. Wow, I cannot believe I remember this. Alright, um, I'm gonna do rupees. This is all kind of useless. So, in total, we could rack up to 300 rupees if we, didn't, if we just had zero. Sorry, song. I want to play Song of Time for last. That's my favorite song. Well, of all the songs we have right now, besides the Song of Stones, I like the Song of Stones too. That's just one of the, that's just one of the first Zelda songs I've learned to play on the piano, so that's why I um, like that song so much. Ah, I love that song. Makes one of the end graphics. Now, all the frogs are bigger. Well, those two are moving in sync. That's kind of weird. Alright, so anyways, um, if, okay, yeah, they'll give us more rupees. Don't really care. Actually, they'll only give us up to 250 rupees because, you know, the song of storms, we get a heart piece. So anyways, now, they'll say that they're all big and that they're the world famous. What? Barely. So anyways, they'll give you a song to play. Uh, every time that there's a fly over a frog's head, you gotta hit the corresponding button to it. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna take a while to get this giant pattern right. Oh, I already failed. Yeah, it'll take a while, so hold on. I'm just gonna skip ahead until where I get it right. Alright, let's try this one more time. I know it's night time. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. It, you know, honestly, if you want, you can write it down. That's the kind of what I did. Alright, as you can take this token of our gratitude, and we get ourselves another piece of art! This makes piece of art number 32, which means we only need four more piece of art, guys. It gives us our 17th heart container, which means that uh, we only need four more piece of heart, and then we're, we've are we collected every single piece of art in the game. Oh, how, what a nice feeling that is. Now we're going to use the Nocturne of Shadow to transport to Kakariko Village. The Nocturne of Shadow is a really awesome song considering that it lets you transport to Kakariko Village, which is really nice considering that it is kind of a hub for like a lot of, um, you know, quests and stuff in the game. I kind of wish we got it earlier. Considering that, I guess in terms of like all songs that you get in terms of transporting, 
like the you know the minuet of forest bolero far center bar knocking her shadow is probably going to be the most useful considering that it lets you transport back to kotrico village and uh you know this is kind of like our central hub of like you know where we want to be because you know pretty much after the the last three temples pretty much after you defeat the temple there there's no real reason to really go back there any of those places and considering that we collected all the piece of hearts and gold sculptures and all those areas there really is expect you know there really is no reason to go back those especially but anyways enough of that so i think i'm just gonna end off this video here guys so next time on legend of zelda ocarina of time we are going to take care of what's at the bottom of this well because yes there is stuff here in this well oh wait i forgot something whoops that well's actually full of water so we can't go down there yet hold on hold on the video's not over yet the video's not over yet so uh you can't go down there if the well is full of water so what we need to do is we need to go up here I forgot that the well was full. And remember this. This kind of completes that weird paradox of, like, in the future saying that a little kid with an ocarina. You go around, go around, and around, and around. What fun, I'm so happy. You don't seem happy in the future. I'm a music man who loves to go around and around and around and around, okay? We're gonna come up with a musical theme inspired by this one, Going around and around and around. Okay, we get it. So anyways, we put an ocarina and we play him the Song of Storms. Do -do 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 -do. Of course, it speeds up this, um, the theme of the Song of Storms, making it sound a little bit distorted. Um, by the way, it also ma makes out some really good paradoxical parts of the storyline, because um, we had to learn it from him in the future, so that obviously means that there might have been another boy to, ta uh, to teach him that song in the past. But since we taught it in there, that completes the whole paradox. It completes the whole thing. But who taught him it in the first place if we didn't? It's always something I found very weird. Anyways, that just about does it for this video, guys. So next time on Legend of Zelda Ocarina Time, we will finally be exploring what's at the bottom of the well. Oh, God. This is where I'm going to start hating dungeons, guys. I, I'm serious. I hate this dungeon. It's, it's a very short dungeon. It's, it's still it's dark, narrow, and scary, which is why I do not like this. I don't like those three things. I'm not claustrophobic. I just don't like those three things. Anyways, we'll do that next time. I'll see you guys then. Ugh.